Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 08 October, it's a Tuesday. Been away for a few days, tending to uh, some personal stuff, but we're back now. Uh, we're going to ease back into this, as is often the case when you've been away from the market for a few days. Just looking at this ES chart here, looks like uh, they're pricing in some positive news uh, related to trade talks are obviously ongoing this week um, for us there's two ways to look at this uh, if there is some sort of positive movement forward we're still sellers of this uh, up near 2990 and if the Chinese walk out or if the US walks out and this thing crumbles you just have to scurry and hit a bid quickly um, and you know, good luck with that. You got to be in front of the screen. You got to time it appropriately. Um, there are some techniques you can use. You can leave stop entries well below the market, with the idea that you know a twenty nine ten stop entry is only going to get hit if the trade uh, if the trade talks are failures, and so it doesn't get hit. You've done nothing. If it does get hit. You want to quickly check the news, see what's going on, and check price, manage risk, etc. Um, otherwise, you just got to be in front of your screens and you know have your strategies in play. Obviously, for the day here now, 29.33 is important. Top side, we are not fading this until 29.90, so not much to do top side. Um, Euro, we've been talking about this daily line now forever. Super important. Three highs now at 110 the figure. Uh, you could probably technically buy this through 110, buy this again through 110, 25. Close your eyes, go to the taco shop, um, and come back with the idea that this is probably going to be higher once this daily trend line is broken. For now at 109.75 we're just going to sit tight. We do have industrial production out of Europe today. We've got German numbers uh, which have been insanely negative so there could be some positive surprise there. Um, previous was minus 0.6. We're looking for uh, minus 0.2 I believe. Um, yeah, so you got to watch out for German industrial production, French trade, Spanish industrial production, and then we have uh, ECB Lane is speaking close to midday, 11.30. In the U.S., we've got inflation figures, which could come out very low, but I haven't moved the market in ages, PPI today. Um, and then we have housing stuff in Canada. This evening we do have Evans and Powell speaking. So, Kashkari as well. Um, so these are things to keep your eyes on. This morning you just want to keep your eyes on this industrial production data. Uh, 110 the figure looks like kind of a bull bear line. But keep in mind that those who are bearish euro are going to be selling euros in front of this trend line. And so the conservative trade will be weight. I know for a lot of you, um, you cannot trade this way, uh, but the conservative trade would be weight, and once you cross 110.25, then you can get long. This trend line has come lower and lower and lower each day. You can see eventually in a week's time, it's going to be at 109.76. So, I mean, eventually this is going to break. Um, I think so I would acknowledge that the professional trade here is to wait for the break dollar Swiss we had that nasty those nasty moves up 1 double 28 1 double 30 this looked like one off flow I guess the scuttlebutt in Switzerland was some accounting changes uh, in the private banking system. I don't even know if that's true or not, nor does it really matter. The point is this, it looks like these flows are over. 
uh, and this will get uh, quite slippery now down below 99.20 this is basically the same trade as euro so manage your risk appropriately you know if you're buying 10 euros and you're selling 10 dollar Swiss it's the same as buying 20 euros right so it's basically the same trade uh, so keep that in mind if you're managing sort of risk metrics there dollar yen uh, we don't really understand why it's at 107.38 but it is pretty bullish day yesterday lots of clear air up here don't know uh, what's going on here I guess again it could be positive trade rumors or murmurs it could also be euro yen which had a very positive and powerful day yesterday bullish engulfed at the lows euro yen could push or keep dollar yen elevated um, if trade fails just bang this thing through one 106.50 which is the sort of medium term pivot what else is out there dollar cads turned back lower we have a pivot down at 102 132.90 housing data today gold has been rather hysterical um, last week obviously we were talking about selling the break at 1490 which we botched went down 20 bucks then went up 50 bucks now down 30 here we are 1496 in the middle of nowhere um, these uh, these are the important lines now and on the gold chart that people will be watching this sort of uh, penalty type thing and you might as well just wait wait until this stuff clears um, before you get involved in gold again you can see what I'm gonna draw here it's pretty straightforward um, this is what everyone's going to be looking at in the gold world so you want to get long up through here short down through here um, right now we're square gold and I would argue everyone should be sort of square gold until we see how this trade is going to go boons turn back lower which we like we're core short boons still not much to say about that we just sit core short uh, we're still long sterling swiss and we're long Euro Aussie. Uh, neither of those are doing too much. Euro Aussie's 162.67. Sterling Swiss is not doing anything. 122.35. Um, focus uh, on new entries is, of course, uh, ES on trade news and Euro Dollar. We're watching this trend line. That's all I got for you today. I wish you all good trading day, good trading week. Make some dough. Go ahead. You deserve it. I will uh, see you all tomorrow.